Hey everyone, welcome in. Really exciting video today. We're talking about a new Laura that came out for Wand Video that is essentially an upscaler. Um, if you've used Topaz AI upscaler before, this is pretty similar. It may not be quite to the Topaz level, but it's very good and it's just kind of a, a sneak peek to what's to come because this is the very first control net that's come out for video since I think the COG video days. So I'm excited to get into this one. Uh, there's a Patreon link in the description below. The first thing you're gonna wanna do if you haven't done it already is update ComfyUI to the latest version. And then also, if you want to use the wrapper for WAN and don't wanna use the native nodes, you'll have to update the WAN wrapper nodes as well. And if you haven't installed WAN before and you wanna give this a shot, check out the linked video in the description about installing WAN AI. I have another video about it. Okay, so the only other thing you need to do is download this control LoRa. So, I already have it downloaded, so I'm not gonna download it again, but just click download. And then you'll get it in your downloads folder. And all you need to do is drop it into your Laura's folder. So I have it inside of a WAN subfolder, but you can see it's right there and we'll have access to it in ComfyUI that way. Okay, so now that you have the Laura, refresh your ComfyUI environment if you haven't already and then head back to my Patreon and grab one of the two workflows. The top one uses all native ComfyUI nodes. The bottom one uses the wrapper nodes. We'll go through both. I'll show you how to use them. Okay, so go back to ComfyUI and just drag it in. And there you go. All right, so I have a load video path node here. You can always replace it with load video upload. I prefer the path one because I don't, it just makes another copy of the video in my input folder of Comfy UI, and I'd rather just use the path of the video so it doesn't make that copy. Okay, so let's try out this. So it's you can see it's kind of jittery, um, and there's not a lot of detail. I generated this with one 1.3, so that's why it's like that. All right, so let's look at the rest of this. So we use the diffusion model loader from KJ. This just patches Sage attention in um, and allows you to use different weight D types. If you're if you're using less VRAM, use something like maybe FP8, but this is using the 1.3B model. So you shouldn't run into VRAM issues unless you have like maybe four gigabytes of VRAM or if you're trying to do a really big video. Okay, and then this is the, the magic here is this LoRa loader model only. We're loading the WAN tile Laura, and then the only th other thing you need to change, you, you need to change your prompt, right? So this is actually pretty pr sensitive to prompt. Make sure that you put in the prompt exactly what the video is, so describe it well. If you do wanna make the video larger and add more detail, then you just need to turn on this node and then put in your height and width. You can also use an upscale by node if you just wanna say like make it two times bigger. Um, but do remember that I, I think this 1.3B model was trained on like up to 720p. So if you go higher than 720p, you may run into some artifacts. I, I haven't tried it to be honest. So uh, give it a shot if you're interested in that. Everything else is the same pretty much as the regular native wand workflow. So as long as you have native WAN working, you should be good to go with this. All right, so let's run it and check it out. So here on the left is our original. You can see how blurry that is compared to what we got here on the right. So this is the 1.3B model, so you're, it's not gonna be you know perfect. Um, and I haven't tried it on the 14B model yet, so maybe on the 14B model it'll also work and you get even better details. Um, but you can see it definitely de-blurs the image quite a bit um, and it gives us a much better output. All right, let's try another subject matter. Let's try like a, let's try a person or something. And then let's just describe this a little bit. Let's run it. And you can see, you know, we, you can even see like down to the poor level on the woman now. It's a bit 
unnatural maybe uh, but it, we definitely added a lot of detail you can see around the lips and even the the necklace and the ear pieces are pretty deep blurred so pretty cool stuff um, like I said this is just the start we're gonna start to see a lot more of these types of models come out and I, I'm excited for especially like depth and open pose to come out pretty soon okay so that is native pretty simple um, let's go and check out the wrapper now all right so head back to my patreon just grab the wrapper workflow and drag that in all right so just make sure you update all the models with your model paths um, you need to update the text encoder the model loader the vae and then the LoRa. Okay, and then if you're if you're struggling with VRAM issues, you can change the block swap. I believe it's up to 30 blocks. We'll make it run a little bit slower, but it'll allow you to run with less VRAM. And you can also offload the image embed and text embed as well, which will help with that. Okay, so let's find another video here to test. All right, here's one of this crazy looking dragon. Um, like I said, if you if you want to try to upscale it, you can use the resize image node. Otherwise, um, it'll just keep the same size, but it'll remove artifacts. All right, so this is what happens if you don't change the prompt. So I prompted for a cyberpunk soldier, and you can see it kind of made the dragon cyberpunk. And it added like this electrical uh, looking gadget down here instead of a boat. So um, make sure that you describe the image really well when you use this. Otherwise, you're gonna end up with something like this. So let's change the prompt and I'll show you what I mean. Okay, and let's try it again. All right, so here you can see we really got some good detail added. It has this lightning strike in it that looks much better than the original. It has the boat is has much more detail. And then the dragon, you can see the scales are much more defined now, whereas before they were just kind of smooth and you couldn't really see the, the scales in the face. Okay, so this is a pretty cool workflow to play with, um, especially, you know, this makes upscaling videos a lot more accessible. So really awesome improvements to see in the open source space. I just want to show you one more generation to just show you that it's it really is doing something. So this workflow will do a comparison and I'm gonna add in some blur. So we'll blur this image and then we'll use the tile to unblur it and we'll be able to compare the original to the blurred to the tile upscaled. And let's edit the prompt, so. Okay, let's run it. All right, so here you can see we had our original video. We added a bunch of blur to it and then we ran that blurred video through the tiled upscaler and you can see how much it de-blurred the image just really really cool i can just see so much utility for this i mean even look at the building right all that we put in was this image and a prompt and look how much better of a generation we got so i'm excited to play around with this um i hope that you get a lot of value out of out of these workflows let me know how you're using them i really like to hear it in the comments Subscribe if you haven't already. There's gonna be more control nets coming out. I'm definitely gonna be making videos about them. I'd love to, to see you back here for that. If you haven't joined the Discord already, uh, we were talking about these models before I even post them on Patreon and Patreon gets to hear about them before YouTube. So join up on the in the Discord if you're interested in this kind of stuff. Follow my other socials and I will talk to you again in the next video. Thanks for watching.